Did you ever think that a star that has stood as an important navigation point in the night sky for thousands of years would simply disappear? It is certain that Betelgeuse will explode and this supernova will take over the night sky all over the world for a few days, shining brighter than our moon. Betelgeuse's dramatic end will be the first supernova we can see with the naked eye from Earth since the 17th century. Today, we shed light on exciting aspects of this explosion that you have certainly never seen before. We clarify what sound is produced by the powerful event and what happens when myriads of neutrinos are hurled in our direction. The imminent explosion of the red giant Betelgeuse is already capturing the imagination of amateur astronomers and star lovers. Such an event is not something you see in the sky every day. The last explosion of a star visible to the naked eye from Earth took place more than 300 years ago. Astronomers have been observing Betelgeuse, the red giant, which still has its permanent place in Orion's shoulder for at least as long. But that won't last much longer because Betelgeuse will soon disappear forever. Then a star that has been in this place for millions of years will suddenly be missing from the night sky. Betelgeuse was especially revered by the Arabs as an important guide for travelers. They gave the bright star the name Yad al Juza, which means the Hand of Orion, and later the name Betelgeuse developed from this. The stellar giant is around 650 light years away from Earth and has been shining as one of the brightest stars in the night sky. Betelgeuse's brightness exceeds that of our Sun by more than 100,000 times. But the star was not always this bright. Betelgeuse has probably always been a large star, but it was nowhere near as conspicuous as it is today. It was only when it had largely exhausted its fuel supplies that it began to inflate and glow like a striking dark red. The explosion is imminent. Between late 2019 and early 2020, astronomers and space enthusiasts around the world noticed a noticeable decrease in Betelgeuse's brightness. There was great excitement as some researchers and amateur astronomers saw these conspicuous features as evidence of the beginning of the final phase. The phenomenon, which became known as the Great Dimming, was so pronounced that it was even visible from Earth with the naked eye. Certain darkenings of Betelgeuse are normal in certain cycles. Researchers have been observing these cycles for centuries and have been able to deduce an absolutely reliable pattern. Betelgeuse has two rhythms in which it changes its brightness, but the recent dimming did not match either of these known cycles. An initial theory suggested that the irregularities could be a massive ejection of surface material. The matter was ejected into space and a dense cloud of dust formed around the star. This cloud could have temporarily eclipsed Betelgeuse. Another theory suspects that the dimming could be part of a previously unknown third brightness cycle. Astronomers are closely monitoring Betelgeuse around the clock to predict when it will explode as a supernova. Given its current stage, this brilliant event could happen tomorrow, in a few decades, or in 100,000 years. Ultimately, we still know too little about stars in their final phase to be able to predict exactly when the explosion will happen. When Betelgeuse finally explodes as a supernova, the event will illuminate the entire galaxy for a moment. Afterwards, a white glowing spot will remain in the sky, which will most likely shine brighter than the moon for a few weeks. After that, one of the most famous stars in human history will have disappeared for good. What does a supernova sound like? Imagine you are in a spaceship and very close to the explosion. In the immediate vicinity of the star, you would probably hear a bang that would rupture your eardrums and crack your skull. Since nobody would really want this box position in this case, you would probably keep enough distance with your spaceship and watch the spectacle from a safe distance to avoid being hit by debris and blast waves. From this position, you would hopefully still have a fantastic view of the cosmic fireworks, but you wouldn't hear a thing. The vacuum of space does not conduct sound, or only very poorly. Of course, an explosion of this magnitude creates a huge pressure wave and would normally be loud. But just a few thousand kilometers away from the actual explosion site, the sound would fall silent. Nevertheless, supernovae produce unique acoustic signatures that spread through space even if they are not directly audible. 
This signature is produced by fluctuations of charged particles, and we are quite capable of detecting these fluctuations with specialized instruments. Low-frequency oscillations from supernova explosions that have occurred in remote corners of the galaxy have already provided researchers with valuable insights into the dynamics of the explosion and the colossal cosmic events associated with it. The upcoming supernova of Betelgeuse will therefore not only be a feast for the eyes, but also a symphony in the cosmos that we can make audible using special technologies. With the help of sonification, researchers are transforming inaudible frequencies flying through the cosmos back into audible sound, resulting in fantastic auditory impressions. Treacherous Signals are you wondering how scientists on Earth pick up such fine signals from space? This is done by specialized and sophisticated detectors that register subtle changes in the charged particles and electromagnetic fields in space. These detectors can capture changes in cosmic rays or magnetic fields caused by supernovae anywhere in the galaxy. After collecting the data, researchers use computer programs to convert the signals into a format that is audible to humans. Although this sound does not reproduce the actual acoustic experience of a supernova, the technology does provide an interesting insight into the dynamic processes that take place during the explosion. Scientists use the data to gain insights into the energy distribution, propagation speed, and other physical properties of the supernova. Gravitational waves sent through space by an event of this size are similarly interesting and revealing. When a star like Betelgeuse explodes, the waves are so enormous that the entire galaxy is set in motion, albeit only minimally. Of course, the effects are most noticeable in the immediate vicinity of the explosion. But imagine how gravitational fields are connected within the universe. The field of our Sun interacts with the gravitational fields of the planets in the system and with the fields of the stars in the immediate vicinity. It's a bit like throwing a stone into a pond. The ripples spread out and touch other ripples that are generated by leaves on the surface of the water or the wind, for example. On the other end of the pond, the effects of the wave would hardly be noticeable and perhaps not even measurable. But the event of the stone hitting the surface of the water still affected the other waves in the pond and thus spread across almost the entire pond. Gravitational waves generated by supernovae or black holes propagate through space in a similar way and for some time now, we have been able to capture and analyze these fine waves. The only two detectors that can currently do this are called LIGO and Virgo. So far, LIGO has mainly detected gravitational waves from colliding black holes and neutron stars. The observation of a supernova in our own galactic neighborhood would be a groundbreaking event, as there has never been a direct observation of gravitational waves from a supernova since the facility was built. What do neutrinos do? Neutrinos are fundamental particles of subatomic physics that are incredibly difficult to grasp because they are almost massless. However, they have an exciting ability. Neutrinos can fly almost unhindered through matter without interacting with it. This property makes them the most mysterious particles currently known. You and I could be passed right now by neutrinos emanating from some event in space and we wouldn't notice a thing. Measuring these particles is a real challenge, and scientists usually choose remote or well-isolated locations, such as Antarctica or underground tunnel systems. Far away from sources or interference, scientists have been able to observe a number of revealing but also mysterious neutrino swarms. One of the most remarkable neutrino swarms of all time was measured in Antarctica. It came directly from inside the Earth and was extremely strange. Neutrinos can easily penetrate bodies or even house walls, but with the thickness of the Earth, even these particles would fly around rather than through. It was therefore speculated that the swarm observed in the Antarctic could originate from another dimension in the Earth's interior. During a supernova, which is undoubtedly one of the most powerful events in the cosmos, enormous quantities of neutrinos are released. These neutrinos are even among the first messengers of stellar explosions. The particles travel through the cosmos at almost the speed of light, carrying exciting information about the exploding star. It is clear that scientists would like to capture these little messengers and unlock all their secrets. 
If Betelgeuse were to explode, neutrino observatories would immediately record the sudden increase in particles. Neutrinos might even reach us before the star has even exploded. Such observatories could therefore also serve as early warning devices for stellar explosions if necessary. However, since stellar explosions are very rare and generally harmless to us, we do not need such an early warning system. You can already see that scientists can't gain that much information from optical observation of a supernova. Waves and neutrinos provide more exciting and comprehensive information. How will the explosion take place? If Betelgeuse were to explode one day, there would certainly be no immediate threat to life on our planet. What we would feel first would be blips from our neutrino detectors hours or even days before the visible light of the explosion. We wouldn't hear anything, but we might see a glaring bright light for a few moments. During the day, you might be briefly blinded, and at night, the explosion would illuminate everything for a few moments. A little later, the first gravitational waves would hit the LIGO facility in the USA. The last glow of the star could last for weeks or even months. At some point, this light would dim, then it would be completely gone, and the last event of Betelgeuse's life would be over. The scientists and people on Earth would have witnessed a unique spectacle. Meanwhile, the enormous amount of energy and heavy elements released by the star into the surrounding space are traveling through the Milky Way. These elements are needed elsewhere to form new stars and planets. The elements released by supernovae probably even contribute to the chemical evolution of the entire galaxy. Click on subscribe because there will be more impressive videos soon.